It's the kid, boy. LeBron just won a chip, if you didn't know. But regardless, uh, we back with another review. We got your boy uh, YG still crazy. Oh, that was a yeah, pretty yeah. Good. First one was yeah. my crazy life. With a kid. Oh. Anybody checking for a YG album release? This is YG's second uh, studio album, still brazy. Man, West, oh West boy, still to his gangster roots. Some people never put the streets down. Word to, word to the game, who just dropped the album too. We about to do a review his drum. Uh, you could definitely hear the street influence the gang. Everything like in his life influence on here from start to bottom. But the funniest thing to me, I don't know, the best verse on his drum, had to be the kid, the goat, Lil Wayne. Oh my goodness. It's like he picked up a southern flow and just murked the whole thing. Like, why you first on that joint was pretty, it was all right too. Yeah, I got a question. Like, why you was pretty good on that? But like, I don't know, son. Lil Wayne bodied that whole thing. Like, he had the, he was the MVP of the, of the album with his verse. Man, Lil Wayne, the, Lil Wayne started to become the best feature artist. <laughs> Like yeah. he he kills everybody features. He's been doing that since the jump though. Yeah, but it's like nah, but now it's his, like he'll be known for it because like, he's not doing other stuff anymore. Yeah, his own projects is like solid, but he started just like killing everybody album features. Like I'm like damn, bro. But, bro, this album, it's solid. It's solid. The biggest thing about this album that I took that I said I flock with YG about about this, is the fact he was being conscious. Like, if you really listen to the album, he had a couple conscious, like, real conscious songs, like... Police little, Get Away With Murder. The Police Get Away With Murder. The joint, the Black and Browns. Mm -hmm. Talking about black people in Spanish. Hispanics, not Spanish. Hispanic people, they go through the same struggle. And it's just like... Minorities. Sit, minorities, basically. Yeah, color people. And you sit there and you be like, damn, bro. Like, YG was... He just... He, he elevated. Because the last album was cool and stuff, but it was like just regular gangster rap shit. Yeah, you could tell why before why you was just trying to find any type of hit working with anybody with yeah. Drake, but not right here. I don't really see it too, uh, nigga. I don't really see a defining. He hit got all his nigga from the. He got Sky Eight Hundred. Man, who the fuck is Sky Eight <laughs> Hundred? He got he got Deuce. Who the fuck is Deuce, man? Marley Blue, like who are these niggas, man? Slim Four Hundred. Who who is Slim Four Hundred? YG really like this was more so Sad Boy. I've never heard of Sad Boy. All these artists that he got, he didn't go reaching for the big names. And I like that too about the album because he, he he made it about the music. You didn't sit there and say, yo, guess who YG got on the album on features. He made it about the music. If the music was right and if you was right for the song, he put you on. And this show, and when artists do that, that means they believe in their own their own talent. And they're willing to bet on themselves because it's easy to go get Drake, Kendrick, Cole. Uh, 2 Chains, Kanye, all the big artists to carry your project in case your shit flop. But he really put on his own people, and I like that, bro. Like, but at the same time, those people weren't impressive at all. Like, as genuine as it is, it's like you still have to be good. <laughs> and like, I didn't really flock with any other features other than Weezy for real. What's his name? I like the feature with um, Sad Boy with the Black and Browns because he was talking about his perspective as far as like being a Hispanic in LA and all that stuff, and it's like. I like that. I like that because he was giving me a different outlook on it. But to me, bro, to me, like the biggest part of the album is because on my on my crazy life, he was telling a story. If you really listen to it, he was telling a story. It wasn't. It was the opposite kind of a Kendrick story. Kendrick was giving a story of somebody looking looking from the outside. YG was giving a story of somebody that's actually doing it. That's why they considered it such a good album. But this album, I feel like he matured because he still talk about like his. He still talk about his life. Like don't get. Sh don't come to LA or like, who shot me? If you listen to who shot me, he's like, damn, bro. Like, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the studio. I'm fucking with all these niggas. And one of them probably set me up and got me shot. Who is it? Who could it be? That's real. And then it's like, don't come to LA. He's talking about how dudes is softening up LA. Like, all these outsiders is coming in here, messing up the LA culture and stuff like that. Like, they, we don't really flock with you niggas and shit like that. And it's just well, like... LA went to LA. That's and it's I'm like... Sure. Yeah, bro, why Jesus? For me, uh, there's nothing really particular. For me, it's more his, that really helps him a lot is his flow. Like, nothing he really says particularly, like, lyric-wise is, like, grab-holding or, like, clever. But it's, like, it reminds me a lot of, like, Meek Mill. Like, his flow is what's going to grab your attention. And, like, sp speaking of flow, I didn't know that, like, I knew there was an F. Donald, there was an F. Donald Trump song. I didn't know he wrote it. And then when it just came out, it was just so funny, bro. Like, YG's a funny dude, bro. That, that joint had me geeking for a minute. I could just, like, and then I saw a meme of, like, Obama and his family, like, playing in the White House, bro. <laughs> Hilarious, bro.
No, I like that song, bro, because you got to understand, Donald Trump, no matter what you say, he's a very powerful person. And he one of those people, like, shit, he got Rick, they got Rick Ross up, up out of the stores. I think it was like Walmart or Target. So he can, he, he can mess up your whole situation. So he's very powerful for YG to go out on the limb. And YG's not, a, he's not known to be a conscious. Like, I expect this from, like, Kendrick or Cole or one of them, like, conscious rappers. Like, YG's a gangster rapper, but he really was... He went a different route and was conscious. This he was talking about real life shit. Like I was expecting to listen to regular. All right, bro. I'm in my low low. Who do you love? Who do you love? <laughs> I got bitches <laughs> popping bottles, but nah, bro. He really went a different route and showed that he's really like an artist and he was talking about current shit. Like, and I'm like, yo, I, that's why I really, I really flocked with this album hard too, bro. And it was a, it was a really solid album. It was a lot of songs on there. I was like, damn, bro. Can we cut it down a little bit? But through and through, though, I like the album. It was a really solid album, and I like his message behind the album, too. I feel like the production, though, didn't really match anything. Like, didn't really flow with his, with him as a, as a rapper and, like, any of the songs. Like, I feel like it was just out of, other than the Donald Trump and, uh, who, and still, was it, still crazy? Like, I feel like, I don't know, it just didn't vibe together. It was just like, it was like a random beat or like, oh, this is a tough beat. These are tough lyrics. Let's put it together. Like, I didn't feel like, Anything was like real art was creative and it didn't really like, and then like from start to bottom, like from the first try, I didn't feel like it was a cohesive project. I just feel like it was like ideas and like let's just put ideas here, there, and third. But that's just me. Honestly, like when I listen to the beats, it's like, it's one thing about the beats is like, I like I like the beats and stuff because he's he's rapping like where he's from, mm -hmm. like I. Whether it's a miss or it's a it's a hit or not, YG stays true to the West Coast. He right, not right. He, you know when you listen to his music where he's from. Mm -hmm. He's not one of these niggas that's from here, but sounds like he's from Atlanta or sounds like he's from another place. Like he's a he's a West Coast LA based rapper, and that's his sound through his music. And I appreciate that through and through because there's too many niggas sound like exactly. places they not from. Like bro, just put on a fake sound. Yeah. Like nah, he's staying true to them to them uh, to that West Coast sound, and. He's obviously right now, out, outside of Kendrick, he's the hottest nigga from the West right now. The game. But the game is like a The staple. game is old as he's shit. He's old. Like, he's yeah. a staple. Like, game is not going nowhere. Like, he's a staple in the West. He's one of those, he's right there. He's, he's a legend. A, he's a staple in the game, man. His paper's together. <laughs> yeah. This album's a solid body of work. I'm going to definitely come back to it. But if YG could take this progression, if he could mix his first album, because his first album was great storytelling, and he was talking about how... Kendrick talked about the outside looking in. YG was talking about the inside living it. And you felt that in the first album, but it wasn't too conscious. So this time, this album was really conscious. So if he could mix both of them, I think his third album potentially could be something really great. Because now his mind is bigger as far as like what he could talk about. He didn't box himself into just gangster rap and that's it. But final thoughts, man. This was a really solid project. I see YG getting better. And if he keeps this up, he gonna be here for another five to ten years because he's one of the voices out the West. Kendrick and TDE they got their movement, and then it's just YG by himself, and it's like he gonna be he gonna be like a staple in five to ten years. He gonna be a staple like gaming them. Now, cause Oe the man behind the camera, he said the ratings, my ratings be too high, so I'm gonna start being real strict on the ratings. So I'm gonna give this one like a seventy-five, cause I I really I really like it. Normally I would give it an eighty-five, but Oe might snap on me. <laughs> I'm going to give it a 75 because the thing with the YG, I love the content. I love how he his music matured. He didn't stay stagnant. He really talking about something, this one. And he's he's like talking about his current events, him getting shot. He talking about police brutality. He talking about what's going on in the league between uh, colored people and how we getting treated like shit over there. And he just talking about real stuff. And it's like, I really like that, bro, especially for somebody who I didn't expect it from. And it really shows his musical growth. And... But I kind of had like a couple things that I ain't really flock with the album about. It's like, one thing was like to me, it, it wasn't something I'd be like, yo, I gotta listen to this every day now. It didn't grab me to the point where it was like, dog, this shit is <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I didn't get too many positives like the way he did, and I definitely don't see him being any form of in the games lane other than like the content or like their attitudes or like relationship was still like gangs in their lives today but like one thing i will say is um yeah i didn't expect this much okay i didn't expect this much like conscious rap like from yg 
I just expected like more party music. I was looking for a summer banger, to be honest, because like, Meek and these boys lacking, so I'm looking for a song to turn up. But I, yeah, I'm definitely surprised by like, the amount of conscious rap I found on here, but at the end of the day, I didn't feel like this project as a whole was put together well, and I didn't really feel too much cohesiveness. But like, I definitely like songs like <laughs> Have Donald Trump Made Me Laugh, but I definitely like songs like Please Get Away With Mur Murder and uh, Still Brazy. What's the other one? And I got a question with Wayne. Quote of the album, just listen, look, listen to Wayne's whole verse. He got the whole quote of the album on his own verse. Wayne's that dude, bro. But he, this album remind me a lot of Kodak's album when it comes to like rappers who I didn't expect too much consciousness. But like I feel like he did this project a lot better than Kodak's. But at the end of the day, um, I'll give this album like a 57 out of 100. But that's just me. I don't know. I'm else feeling the Southern Five. But yo, Straight Facts, homie. Subscribe to the channel. Get in the comment box. Tell me what you think about this drone or YGD on this thing. We got more reviews coming soon. All that.